F9, we will go. <clears throat> Hello and welcome, everybody. King Dimps here, bringing you some more League of Legends. Um, so basically, today, boys and girls, I am bringing you some ADC gameplay as Varus. Don't actually have a proper traditional support. I'm having to go bot with Pantheon because, uh,. We had a couple of pre-maids who wanted to go top together, so whatever, we'll let them do what they want. Although, it doesn't seem like the other team has a proper support either. Uh, pff, I'm guessing it'll be Lux bot with either Jace or Aurelia. Uh, Lux bot? Sorry. Caitlyn bot with either Jace or Aurelia. Lux will go mid, a move jungle. And then whoever out of Jace or Aurelia isn't going bot will go top. On our team, we have a Shen and Gangplank top, Pantheon bot support with me, and a Rumble mid. I haven't actually seen Rumble played that much, so I don't know how good he is on the damage, but Shen's a great tank with uh, with great map presence. Gangplank can unload a lot of damage with his uh, if he goes crit. Chance, uh, crit plank, as he, he likes to be called. Uh, but, I mean, we, we don't. We'll, we'll see how everyone's going to build. Um... I've seen a crit plank played top often uh, with quite a lot of success. I've also seen him played mid once. Uh, I played mid against him once as a rise. It was bad because Gangplank does no damage until he's built some items. And so I just played an aggressive lane with rise and just pooped on him because my early burst, he just could not handle it. Um, but anyway, that's another game. This is this game. This is the game of games. Uh, this guy's stuck on 96%, which is fantastic. Uh, all very optimistic about that. Um, I really enjoy Varus as an ADC. Uh, he's currently... He's currently one of my favourite champions to play. Up there with kind of Thresh and Malphite. Uh, and Graves to an extent. But Varus is probably my current favourite champ to play. Um because I think he's just got fantastic kit for an ADC. Um, he time. has two bits of... Uh, here we go. He's got two bits of, um, of CC, and he's got slow from his arrows and a, uh, a, a stun, or uh, whatever you want to call it, from his ult. Beware a man with nothing to um, lose. And, but he's also got really good early game burst, because you can stack up the Blighted Welcome Quiver and to use it to, uh, and detonate it with your abilities. Um, so basically, let me give you a quick rundown of Barris' abilities, there actually, why not? No uh, this is something, uh, this is basically your poke, it is called Piercing Arrow. You press Q once to draw your bow back, and the longer you charge it up, the further the range will be. Bloodshed. Uh, and then Christ. once you press Q again, you'll release it to poke the crap out of whoever is wherever. Uh, I'll, just, I'll probably show you that quite early. Uh, w is his Blighted Quiver. Now, the passive uh, gives added uh, magic damage. Which is very nice anyway on your uh, auto attacks. Gives you extra bit of damage early game. Uh, not really noticeable late game because you don't build AP, but early game is definitely noticeable. Rumble seems to be doing okay against this Lux anyway. So, whatever. Um, Give me a target. Yeah, anyway, what was I saying? Blighted Quiver. Yeah, gives you nicer uh, added damage, but also... Uh, it stacks uh, Blight uh, up to three fallen. times, and when you detonate this Blight, uh, it deals damage equivalent to a certain percentage of their maximum health uh, per stack. So if you, for, na for example, sorry, I have 2% currently uh, magic damage, so that if I stack it three times, that'll be a 6% of their maximum health, which is pretty impressive. Panth, why aren't you in lane? That is a decent question. Uh, that is probably because they are leashing My bot or probably leashing blue down. currently for a Mumu. Aurelia solo top. Um, Jesus Christ, get away from me. Um, so yeah, let's get that first last My hit. Missed it. Great job. Um, and then my E is a nice little slow, Hail of Arrows, AoE slow. Uh, useful for detonating Blight stacks and useful for the slow, but not really useful for damage. I do what I must. Um, uh, yeah, Caitlyn and Chase. This is going to be an interesting lane, because I have a funny feeling they're both going to want to get farm. Although Jace may not. Oh, interesting. Only cowards that was a poke there from 
Panth. Um, and then my ultimate does lots of magic damage and uh, stuns, with that stun having a chance to uh, to my transfer to other people done. nearby. So uh, that's quite a good little ult. I am just misjudging these, uh, these last hits wrong. Once I get my blighted quiver, I'll be able to hit minions a little harder. I do what I must. She's got some decent... Uh, actually, I've got better starting armor, so maybe I've just got not as good starting AD. I'll have to have a look at that. Um, early game is actually quite dictated by um, rune pages. As you can see, I have 62 AD currently. She has 69, so she has slightly more damage than me. But I obviously have better armor seals and whatever than her. Oh, I missed that. That's really bad, missing a siege minion. Um... Missing a siege bump minion is pretty poor. I just received a message from one of my friends. Um, okay, what's going on? Caitlyn's just sat there. I'm going to give her a poke, give her something to think about. She's kind of being very passive at the moment. Um, which is probably a good idea for Caitlyn, because she has no early game burst. She's not a champ you play to dominate the early game. Um, she's got a good, strong late game and quite strong poke and range. Um, but apart from that, she's not the best early game champ, in my opinion. Um, uh, whenever I've seen her play, the most effective I've seen her is on... She's getting zoned very hard, though. I don't really know why. She seems to be very... Uh, they're possibly trying to let the... Um, I think they're trying to let the wave push forward to then go for a gank. Which is uh, uh, bad. I will... I'm going to let this lane push itself and not push up with it. Although the lane isn't really pushing. Because I'm only last hitting, I'm literally doing no damage by last hits. Um, right, I forced her to pop her flash, which was very, very nice. Okay, sorry for the silence. That was a bit of concentration, but that was good. That should, hopefully, force her out of lane. Um... It might not do. Uh, she may have pots and she may stay, but I didn't actually... Uh, ah, she does have pots. She's only got one pot left, though. Which is nice. Oh, she's so damn lucky. Oh, damn, get out of here. 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 Okay, that's fine. Um, so, as you can see, that was good. We negated a gank from the jungler. We forced Thingy to pop absolutely all of her pots. And we've just absolutely pooped on a Moo Moo. Uh, this is why I absolutely love Varus, because uh, his auto attack range is relatively short, uh, but the range he gains with his Q poke is is just absolutely silly, really. Um, and it means I can poke people very hard. When people try and run away, it basically gives me a free shot on my Q if, if people try and run away. I'm missing a lot of last hits. There is no salvation. There we go. Uh, my farm's alright, 27 versus Caitlyn's 10. Okay, it's a lot better than, than Caitlyn's farm, which is nice. Uh, it looks like Caitlyn's decided to go back. Let's give Jace a poke to think about. Let's just zone him out. And I've burnt another flash. I'm having a very, very, very good early lane here. You might think, oh, you're not getting any kills, though. What's that all about? Uh, the early lane isn't really, or doesn't necessarily have to be about kills. You can make it about kills, but since this pant isn't last hitting... I don't actually have to worry about getting last hits. And I'm now out-leveling uh, Caitlyn by two, which is absolutely fantastic early game. Um, and so, uh, only one now, but still. I'm I'm out-leveling her quite significantly. See if I can get an auto attack off on her. So then back off and detonate my Q stacks. There you go. See, and that's what uh, Varus's pokes is really all about. If you can, stack up that blight. For when you're getting the kill, for uh, when you're getting the pokes off. My work is not done. If not, uh, then just try and get your Q off. But if you can get at least one blight stack, that it is very, 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 very helpful. Ah, she duped. That was good play of her there. Uh, probably should have had the kill there. I was struggling a little bit, and uh, she duped it very well. In in all credit to her, that was a Give very, very, target. very good bit of duking from Caitlyn, but again, that should... Oh, she's being ballsy. She's tried to buy Dorans. Okay. First blood. 
okay, okay. No mana for uh, Panth. He can go back. It's just fine. They don't really have enough to push the lane up. I'm doing a lot more damage. The trouble with Jace is that um, his pokes are mitigated by minions. So if you get minions between you and uh, and him, he can't really poke you very hard. Um, Panth left lane just for a very short period of time. I'm not going to stay in this bush too long because it's quite easy for Jace to have a poke at the bush. Let's just get that last hit. And that one. Out. That's a poke from Caitlyn. Now that is what Caitlyn should have been doing a lot more. She's um, got a headshot up so need to... She hasn't been poking me at all really with her range and every time she's got her headshot up she's pretty much left it. Um, so, you know, I'm not impressed with the way this Caitlyn's been playing. She hasn't played to Caitlyn's strengths as a character. Oh, they tried to stack up a poke on me there. That was a good play. Uh, I still haven't been forced out of lane. I like to not get forced out of lane until about 2.1k gold. Because I can get a Berserker's Greaves and a, um... Yeah, I'm in position. I'm in position. I'm in position. Okay, he decided not to go for it. Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Get it. An enemy has been okay, I don't. Um, oh, so what have I been saying? Uh, yeah, she hasn't played very well early game. She hasn't really played to Caitlyn's strengths. She's kind of let me play to my strengths. Uh, her support hasn't helped her out, hasn't got very many good pokes off on me. And so that makes it difficult for her because she needs to concentrate on farming. She can't solely, solely concentrate on them. Um... Let's just force them back. And that's all we need to do, really. Uh, we've got this lane fairly easily won. We're zoning them quite hard. Uh, Panda is pretty nice because he has a stun, but apart from that, he's not the best guy for me to have supporting me. Someone like uh, Blitz would be nice. Um, Blitz is probably my favourite support I've played with on Varus. He should now die, hopefully. And there we go, he's dead. Um, RC. Gonna back. Right, so there we go, that was very good. We picked up two kills. Panth picked up one of them, which isn't ideal, but I mean, it's, it really isn't the end of the world. Uh, I've got just over the gold I need, which is nice because I can get a BF sword and then get a few more pots and just out sustain them like a beast. Uh, I'm also going to pick up a couple of mana pots because mana I can be a problem with Varus if, you, if you're constantly poking. Uh, and so uh, to be honest mana is actually very very useful. It's very useful to get a couple of mana pots because you want to be poking as often as you can. An enemy has been and this 200 mana I'll get from these mana pots will just help me uh, keep my mana up uh, so I can poke or uh, if I have poked people down to the opportunity to kill them, I can pop the mana just to make sure I can get my full burst off. Uh, but you saw how useful the ult can be there. Um, popped it on Caitlyn to ensure the kill so that she couldn't use her net thing to get out of the dodge. Oh, dearing me, trying to... Oh, stacked up a couple of pokes there. That was a very good play of them. Uh, not great play of me. I should have really counted for Jason uh, and his damage coming in. Uh, this BF sword's going to make it much easier for me to last hit. As you can see, she's only got a Berserker's Greaves and a door, and I mean, she's going to really, uh, she's going to struggle to match my damage output. Uh, well, I can tell you for a fact she won't match my damage output. There is no this Jace is a bit tankier than our Panth, but our Panth is actually playing really well. I'm quite impressed with this Panth. Alright, let's restore that 150 health, actually. Um... I haven't gone for sustain with lifesteal. I could have got a vamp scepter at some point. But I've decided against it. I do what I must. Okay. Next time we've poked them down quite low. Next time my ult comes up, there's definitely a kill here for us on this lane. I can probably solo her. God damn it, I was a little bit too far away when I popped my ult there, which meant I couldn't get in and do the damage to her. We can dive her, Panth. We can definitely dive her. Panth, we can definitely dive her. 
Okay. Mm I wanted Pantheon to go for the dive then. She was on about half health. Could have easily dived that. Um, and Panth has his uh, passive, which would have blocked at least one attack. I missed there with my poke, but it took out a bunch of minions, so not the end of the world. I'm actually going to pop one of these mana pots now. Um, we forced Jace out of lane, which is nice. That's the main reason I went for it. I went for the kill like I did. I'm on borrowed time. Because I knew Jace was out of lane, so uh, there's an Amumu. Oh, he's going right around the back for the gank. Amumu is very squishy. Oh, Rumble's come. Rumble's come. Amumu missed entirely with his ult. Amumu missed entirely with his ult. Rumble got the double. We should probably just back this one, chase this one all the way to the death. Oh my god, I may die, I may die, I... that wasn't a good play of me there. Oh, okay, my let's pop is clear. two pots uh, just to keep me in lane. And there's a kill there. Okay, I've got assists on all of these. It's a bit frustrating that I'm not really getting the feed myself, but it'll do. Uh, we'll pop this turret now, because why not, really? Um... Top isn't doing as well as I'd... Oh my god, Top is doing absolutely is awful done. against Aurelia. Shen and Gangplank. Deary me. Okay, they've done an absolute cack against Aurelia. Uh, I could back now to pick up a uh, pickaxe. But I feel my damage output's okay at the moment. I've got my turret up, so I'm going to go and sit and just relax. I'm going to pop all my pots though and uh, just to, you know, charge me, recharge me a bit. Next time I need, um, I will definitely head back uh, if needed. Next time someone pushes up on me, as you can see, Jace is severely underleveled. He's level 6. Uh, we've pushed him back so much, he's got nothing on his build. He is, he is really struggling. Is no uh, this lane was never going to be much of a, uh, a success for Caitlyn and Jace. Because I think Caitlyn's biggest advantage as an ADC is her range. And I think Barris negates that with his poke. So, you know, I always thought she was going to struggle. I'm going to push this wave up nice and hard. An and, oh, there seems to be some sort of pseudo team fight occurring in mid. Oh, Rumble, you're going to die. You're going to die, Rumble. You're going to die, Rumble. You're going to die, Rumble. Oh my god, is Rumble going to survive? Oh, Give Rumble, you mad man. How did you do that, Rumble? If I can get there, something fun will definitely occur. And Varus comes in and saves the day for everyone. Triple kill, Triple kill for Varus! Everybody loves me! Everybody loves me! Oh, dear, I'm moving. Hi. Oh, I'm moving. Nice job. No, mine. My kill. My kill. No! No! I don't know if that would have counted as a quadra, but it would have been impressive. Okay, I said earlier that I wasn't getting the feed. Now I got the feed. Um, I'm pretty sure, judging by things, Aurelia's going to look to stack health and actually be quite damagey. And Mumu has bought some armor, though. So some armor shred will be a priority at a later date. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a pickaxe. Then I'm going to... Oh, I could just straight up finish my imp edge, actually. I'm going to possibly go for a vamp scepter and then get the last component of my imp edge and finish it off later. Um, the vamp scepter just helps with sustain. I tend to, the way I tend to build is I tend to go Berserker's Greaves, BF Sword Pickaxe because you need that flat damage early game. Then I'll look to get a vamp scepter to help me out in lane with sustain. I'm doing enough damage now and my, uh, my passive gives me like attack speed. Gains uh, me little, 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 gains me attack speed, so Beware, a man with nothing to lose. there's no real need to. Uh, yeah, I know, I know what we're doing. We're picking up, uh, picking up kills on these bad boys. 
Um, I think he wants to get me red. Yeah, it's a good plan. Um, so yeah, I don't really... I'm not as key uh, in need of attack speed, really. Get me that kill. Yeah! Right, I've got red, which is lovely. Uh, this is going to help me out a lot getting kills, because one of Varus's problems is sticking power. Staying in touch with whoever he's trying to kill. Uh, so... Getting red is a good idea because it gives me a nice little dot, uh, which helps me out with kills a lot. Also helps my general deeps. My general deeps gets quite significantly aided. Yep. Yep. Let's go there. I'm gonna focus Lux. That's a nice little kill for Demps. Uh, let's yeah, let's follow this up and try and get Jace. Oh, Shen's there, which is nice. Um. That was good ult by Panth. Uh, they were on turret. They really didn't do anything about it. And the kill was there to be had. Uh, I think we're going to push this wave up now. Shen looks like he's going to go back top. But that's because he's, you know, he's there with his pre-made friends. And he didn't want you to be friends. Alright, let's get some... Oh, just misjudged that. Misjudged that one a little bit on, uh, on what's-his-face there. I've forgotten his name now. Ah! I misjudged that on a movie there. Thought that would get me the kill. Uh, did Lux just do that? Killed him! Right, let's do some turret damage with uh, this last... Ah, Aurelia. Rumble, you're basically you've committed suicide there. Oh, let's see if I can steal this one. Cha! Now nah, I can do some damage though. Go on, Gangplank, get that. Oh, Gangplank. Be more ballsy about life. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stay and push this turret up. Because uh, that's a good idea. Pushing up turrets, pushing up turrets. I think he's back already, wow. He overjudged himself there. He overjudged himself, he overestimated himself. I talk English. Silence. Don't, don't question me. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna probably consider backing. I may go steal their red uh, just before I back, just because stealing buffs on the way out is always a good idea. I'm gonna commit to. Oh dear, I didn't steal red. That was bad. That was bad. Uh, good idea to steal. Uh, bad idea to continue with it once she saw me. It wasn't that important getting the buff. She got it anyway. Yeah, that was bad play by me. Good play by Aurelia. Got to give her credit where credit is due there. She's carrying her team, I wouldn't believe. Uh, but, I mean, having an, ass an assassin can't really carry a game. That's the problem. An assassin's only really good for assassinating. Uh, she's got less AD than me, she's got the same AD as me pretty much, and more attack speed. Yeah, she's a bit more, a little bit, a little bit more fed than me, um, in terms of kills, so. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go and try and be a bit more sensible about life. Ooh, Pant has that. Pant should probably get out of there. Oh, they have an AFK, -er, it would seem. Yeah, their Caitlyn's disappeared. Well, looks like this game's a pretty easy win then. Oh, Panthwai, Panthwai. They have so many stuns, Pan. They have so many stuns. Nice! Killed that son of a bitch. Um. Okay, that was nice to get the shutdown on Aurelia. A bit of revenge after, uh, after last time. Uh, this Rumble's doing a lot of damage. I like it. Uh, he's got good AoE damage, whatnot. He's doing pretty nice. Uh. So, yeah, you know, I'm convinced of the Rumble now. Uh, yes. Bad player and AFK. Oh, what a beehutch. Uh, red's not there. Red shouldn't be there. Why does it say red's down on my map? I'm going to go look at it. Uh, just to clarify that it's not there, no. I, I, I knew it wasn't because I saw Aurelia steal it, but it was a good idea to look there. Let's go get their blue. There's lots of us here, we can go and get their blue. Come on. Rumble, Rumble, come get blue. Rumble, come get blue. 
Rumble, come get blue. Rumble, come get blue. Right, that'll do. Uh, I'm surprised Lux didn't die there, she probably should have, but... Right, I took blue because nobody else was coming to take it. The cooldown reduction will be nice, and the mana cost of my abilities is actually quite high, so that'll probably be nice as well. That looks like they've ill-advised, gone in for the team fight there. Oh dear, there's not a lot there for us. I'm away. Uh, Amumu can bandage toss all he likes. I'll be out here. Oh dear. No, Amumu, you are mine. I'm on borrowed time. Oh, the temptation to just flash for it is ridiculous. Oh no, you're not getting that kill. Yeah, screw that. Oh! That was a kill steal and a half by Shen. I popped my flash there. Right, I'm going to tell you right now, guys. Never, ever, ever should I have flashed for that. That was bad. Um, but I chased it all the way uh, and fuck him was I going to let him have it. I'm not normally one to make a massive point of it and like deal it like you know be like ah oh, nice kale steal you faggot but that one was a little bit frustrating because I chased him all the way uh, what a bell oh god he's federalia and now he's being a noob yeah fine I know I've got about five minutes to go. right we are back uh, so yeah, the team fights are all going our way. Uh, they've won the one character down, which really they can't really do a lot. Um, I may have stolen my kill off Rumble a little bit, uh, but you know we'll ignore that. Uh, we should probably win this. Ah, she flashed out. I'm never getting it. Uh, let's kill this guy. Uh, I'll take that. Don't really care. Okay, so this is going all well and dandy. We'll get the win. They won't surrender, I don't think. No, they're too ballsy for that. They don't really want to, but let's see. Yeah, let's just... Gangplank probably shouldn't be tanking the turret. Probably not worth it. <laughs> I love that gangplank ward out of range of it and then instantly start tanking it again. Let's leave. Oh dear. Oh, they surrendered. That's fine. Uh, GG, well played. And that, guys, was some Varus gameplay for you. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope it, if you didn't know, I hope it gave you a little idea of how to play Varus. Um, and I will see you next time, guys and gals.